Good Friday morning, folks. Good Friday morning. Such a beautiful day out here. I was going to do a quick video for you on in in the um, you know, the motel. You see the golf carts behind me. The golf course here. I was going to do a, um, a quick video for you in there, but there's a bunch of commotion going on on today's action in the um, silver market. And there's been some really interesting, um, I should show you the chart, but you can go look it up. Uh, since yesterday, and then you see I just posted yesterday's video today, uh, we made that move up, and then we've gone sideways again, just like we did Tuesday. Uh, what's really interesting is the, um, the action is, um, it's been pretty crazy the last couple hours. Uh, 50 cents up, 50 cents down, 50 cents up. There's been a lot of pressure both ways, so it's going to be interesting. This is not your typical structure that's forming on, at, on this on this move here. So I'm not exactly sure what we're looking at here on this Friday afternoon. Uh, supposedly the market, uh, the, the numbers come out. Uh, the I guess the unemployment numbers. Are, there's something that's fighting in the background, and uh, you know you, we can speculate on it. I don't know. Point is this. Um, uh, I really just wanted to share this with you. Y'all you know who Keith Newmeyer is, of um, a guy who who um, who has um, uh, built this the silver mine um, that he did, and the mining in the mining field. Uh, Keith Newmeyer is one of the few miners um, that has really um, stood up for and and against the manipulation and. You know, for those of you who are aware who he is and have seen him uh, interviewed on some of the other channels, uh, he did an interview on Kitco, and and this this is you have got to see this. Um, you know, talking about understanding the fundamentals, understanding the manipulation, and all that. How do I put this? He ate their lunch. It was so beautiful to see this. And then, of course, you go down and scroll down and see the, the comments on it. So many of you are aware that Kitco does kind of mouthpiece for the, um, for the cabal, for, for the manipulation. And uh, those of you who have been watching, as long as I have, um, you know, Daniela Comboni uh, was the... Um, girl that would do that now there's this david lynn guy and he wants to appear serious and uh like he's professional and oh he's it's funny um i'm kind of glad daniela has moved over to stansbury because now she speaks more freely you know but if you really want some entertainment um and you really want a good laugh at it uh, i will leave a link to um to this interview it's, a, it's kind of a long one but it is so worth it because he I mean as as politely as he can he hands them the smack down and eats their lunch it is it is it is worth it to, you know this thing is coming apart um, the words getting out there and um, the the boldness in because you know you gotta understand Three, four, five years ago, you even though everything that we know about the the market is um, still evident today and stronger, men like uh, Keith Newmeyer would not have said what he said or done it the way he did it. it, it there is a boldness coming back, coming up. So, hang in there, folks. Um, it, it's worth it's worth watching the ride, even though it's taken longer. <laughs> I hope you all enjoy it. Um, God, it's such a beautiful day. I need to get back to the house and, and start working on those presses. It's so beautiful. We've got more rain coming in, and, and i got to get work done while I can. I wanted to get these up for you today. Y'all have a blessed day. Take care, and we'll catch you soon.